If you see something and you need to walk, guess what? Get out of your car and get there. In this case, I noticed the gentleman was uh, digging for quahogs in a spit of sand out in Wareham, Massachusetts. If it takes uh, getting your feet dirty, then get it done. I took a couple of shots, but ultimately chose a lower vantage point that I thought had the greatest impact with the sky in the background. There's been some discovery. And there's nothing like the sense of discovery. Now, a local historian, Arthur Mata, is has found some volumes. I haven't seen them yet, so. From what I understand, it's a bunch of books written by uh, students in New Bedford that were displayed at the St. Louis uh, World Fair. So, let's go check it out. But to get there, I need to climb that. Okay, as you can see, it's been an interesting week. Sure, it ended on a high note, but it also started quite well. We've got a couple of cool features, including this one here, of a gentleman um, fixing up the front door of a future bank in inside a historical building. Um, and the reason the photo works is just because of the symmetry in the whole thing. It just, it just works out really well. But again, got to be patient and, and just let things happen. Oh man, I got a cookie, some water. I'm ready for putting this video together actually. Um, thank you to all of you guys that subscribe to this. Um, if you have any feedback, that'd be great. I know this is a work in progress. And I wish I could show you more, but ultimately it really is all about taking the photos. And if I'm too worried about shooting video, then guess what? I'm not going to be getting any good photos. And that's what it's all about. Sometimes you have to ask yourself, why does the still photograph do so much more than video? Well, I have my own theories about that. And one of the reasons I think is because we see the world obviously in a, in a moving state. Things are always moving in front of us. Our eyes are not picking up the details per se. They're picking up things that it understands, associating that with shapes and so on, but it's not really focusing on any specific thing. While a photograph, it freezes that moment. And then what happens is it gives your brain enough time to look at all the details of something that you think you understand, but you never actually looked at. Anyway, that's my philosophy for today. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next week.